Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your system idle process appears to be taking up a lot of CPU and system resources on your Windows computer. The process itself is generally used to power down the CPU when it's not being used. So since the processor always needs to be operating, it'll keep running even when there's not applications being run. So Generally speaking, it's running in low power state, so when a task appears, it'll take some of the resources that the system idle process is using, just as storage for processing requirements. So if you notice, you're just experiencing a high amount of utilization, though, through the system idle process. It might actually be an issue that it's interrupting the process a bit. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt or CMD here. You want to go right click on it and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now in this LV command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter your keyboard to begin running the scan. So it will take some time to run as it states here. So you might have to reboot your computer if you accidentally type in it once. And it looks like I already initiated the scan before restarting my computer. So I'd have to restart it and run it again. But I would just follow along with the on-screen instructions here. It should automatically begin the scan. And once it's done, I would suggest restarting your computer. And hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.